Hello everyone, how's it going? I am WoW Krendor, and welcome to another episode of World of Krendor, where I answer your questions that you submit to worldofkrendor at gmail.com. Submit them only to worldofkrendor at gmail.com, because I will not check anywhere else. Okay? Okay. First question. Hey Krendor, a friend and I started talking about how WoW could be improved, and one of the ideas that came up was to let all of the classes have a fourth spec. This would allow certain specs a wider variety of choices, and have the Feral Tree, which is effectively four specs stuffed into one tree, Cat, Bear, and their PvP counterparts, to be split into Cat, Feral, and Bear, Feral, each having their separate trees. It might be a challenge for Blizz the Blizz team to develop some specs. We're still finding a valid spec for the Paladins, and not make them rehash nonsense, but it can be done in my opinion. Obviously, they are not going to do this anytime soon, but what are your thoughts on this idea? Thanks, Terrence. Well, I always say well. Uh, the problem with this is it doesn't really change anything. It kind of gives you another option of, a, what do you call it? Like a Well, you get another spec to choose from, but that's like it. Like, it's not going to balance out character classes, it's not gonna... Like, the problem with t the talent tree system is it's all... Like, there's one spec that's always the best for that tree. So even if you add another spec, there's gonna be a best spec out of all those four. So you'd be like, hey, I'm a mage, and I have fire, ice, and uh, arcane. And I'd be like, hey, now let's add... Uh, I don't know, just say nature, I don't know. And you're like, okay, now you can do like nature spells and stuff and whatever. And even if you have that option available, they're still going to be the best spec. So like, you'll be like, oh, what should I be for raiding? I really want to be a, a frost mage. And somebody will be like, no, frost is bad for raiding. You should go arcane. So it's like, oh. Well, what if I go nature for it? No! Arcade's the best! You're stupid! So it's like, there's always going to be one of the best specs. And then, what they tried to do this expansion was make it so you could, like, go in your talent tree, like, what you wanted. Like, hey, I think... Like, they tried to take out all the useless talents to make it more like you can pick what you want. But even then, the problem is still, you go a certain path that somebody else finds that they are like, hey, this is the best spec, and you do the most damage doing this, and you should do that, because the other choices are stupid. So that's the problem with talent trees, and I'm sure there's, like, some other thing you can do to fix it. Like, there has to be some other form of customization of your character that there is, and maybe I'll talk about that in a future episode, but that's why your fourth spec would not really matter. It would probably, it would add another, like, uh, variation to the character class, but that's pretty much it. Next question. Hello, Krendor. I just heard about Blizzard's plan to nerf Firelands raids soon, now that 4.3 will be coming out in the next couple of months. My guild had a somewhat huge rant about this yesterday, mainly about Blizzard's intent to just nerf all content sooner or later so that casuals can experience everything in WoW. I am an avid WoW player, and I have done every raid at release, and my guild is currently 6 of 7 heroic Firelands. It seemed that I was one of the very few people that didn't, doesn't mind them nerfing old content. More than just being an experienced raider, I love WoW lore, so to me if, a casual, if I was a casual, I would also love this idea, so that I could still do the content sooner or later, if not just for the lore sake of the raid content that does add to the storyline if you follow it. In short, if you are a hardcore, you have already done cleared all the raiding content and are waiting to move on to new content. Do you think Blizzard should continue to nerf old outdated content to give everyone a chance so they... Or should they just leave it and let the casuals be just that and stick to being bad? Thanks for your opinion, Voikes. Cool if you pronounce it wrong, we will call you Voikes. So, Voikes, the issue here is that the hardcore people are angry because the content that they've put so much time and effort into is getting nerfed. But, uh, while I see they're getting ang- while I see why they can get angry, or 
why they are getting angry. It's It has to be done because Blizzard is a business and they know that the majority of their player base is casual and casual doesn't always mean bad as much as people like to say that a lot of times casual just means they're they don't have enough time to actually put in to play the game they don't have uh, or they don't want to they have a limited amount of time and they don't want to put in uh, the amount of effort it takes to do the instance but they still want to do the lore stuff, and they still want to hear the story, like you said. And I think it's a good idea, because you're if you don't nerf the old content, it's not going to get done anyway. Like, it's not being done now, so why would anything change? The people doing it currently would move on to something else, and then nobody would do the old content. So, they have to nerf it, because it just it makes sense because now you're allowing all the people who didn't want to do it before to go do it because it'll be faster and easier and they can experience it all etc while the people that were doing it hardcore get to move on to something new and I think that's a prize within itself being that you're the first one to experience it and I don't know I don't think there's a problem with the nerfing of old content and now the lol question Hello, Mr. Krendor. This is a question for your LOL section. What do you think about the banning and suspensions for leaving games? I find it very annoying and think it should be for ranked matches only because the normal ones don't even count. I'd like to know what you think about this and stuff, so thanks if you answer my question. Mardoon Marden. Well, while I see why you could say like, oh, they don't matter, it's still people's time. And someone was like, hey, you know, maybe I want to try a new champion, or, you know, I don't really like playing ranked, so I just like playing for fun. But, like, the problem with all this is once one person leaves, you have literally, like, handicapped your team so badly. And if the other team has five, like, legitimate, capable people that can, like, use their brain, you're pretty much screwed. So... They do that because it's such a team game, and they're trying to, like, engrave it in your brain. Like, hey, if you start a game, you shouldn't leave the game because you're going to screw your team over extremely badly. And uh, while it's, it's, it's only normal games, like, it's still, a <laughs> it's still a game of League of Legends. And I still think it's considered, like, somewhat of, like, a testing ground, normal games. Even though some people treat it as kind of like the main thing they play. I treat it as like, if I'm going to try out a new champion, I'm going to play normal games. If I'm going to just want to like play a casual game without like thinking as much, I'll play a normal game. But it's that doesn't mean I don't want to win. And the people playing with you, they want to win. So if you leave the game just because like you're like, oh, I'll play like 10 minutes and then quit. Like that's still, you're still getting IP, you're still using your time and effort in the game, like even though you're playing a new champion or something, you're still trying. It's not like you're like, oh, I played for five minutes, I'm done. Like, no, you're, you're still trying. So overall, I don't really think it's a bad thing. And now the first random question. Greetings, Crendor. I was wondering what kind of computer, mouse, keyboard, microphone for vent you use. Yukon. Well, my computer, I custom built, of course. Only noobs don't custom build. Uh, I have an NVIDIA GTX 460? I believe it's a 460. I think I was just like looking at upgrading it. But so far, it's not bad, so I'll wait till it like can't handle stuff and then I'll buy a new one. My mouse is a Razer Death Adder. I've had it for literally like four years or something, and I love it. It's like the best mouse ever, and it's right handed. It's like fit specifically for your right hand, and I love that. And it's only got like, I only it has like two buttons on the side, and that's all I really want. Like I don't want like eight billion buttons to macro my keys and stuff. I don't really care about that. My keyboard is a Razer Black Widow. That is why if I type things, it sounds really loud because it's a mechanical keyboard, and I like it. <laughs> and my microphone. 
Uh, when I'm talking on, like, Vent or TeamSpeak, I just use my normal headset mic, which is like a Logitech one that I've had, like, forever. And if I'm talking on Skype or if I'm using voice recording this, like right now, I will use my Blue Snowflake microphone. Which, or not Snowflake, Snowball. Blue Snowball microphone. I do have a Blue Snowflake microphone, which is like a mini one for, like, your laptop and if you travel or moving around. So that's all my stuff. And the final question. Hey, Crendor, I was thinking about this the other day. I know your job is YouTube, but what will you do when YouTube collapses and you need to do something else? I was wondering about this with other big YouTubers as well, but I thought I'd ask you. Sorry, uh, Jorvan. Well, I get this question a lot, and most people tend to assume that, you know, YouTube and online video is just like a fad. Like, oh, it's just like MySpace or blah blah blah. But the thing with MySpace is MySpace concept didn't die. Like, MySpace, the site died, but the concept of a social network didn't die. And that went to Facebook, and then it super grew. And that's pretty much what's happened with online videos. Like, YouTube wouldn't just die. <laughs> it's like Amazon or Google just dying, or Facebook just dying. Like, it does that doesn't happen when you have hundreds of millions of people on that website. And I've taken many marketing classes and read, well, they didn't really help me, because they're like, this is how you market in the 80s. I'm like, wow, that's great. And I have read a lot of marketing books and online video books and online marketing books and just... Uh, and read websites and etc. Online video is literally killing TV. Like, if you look at graphs and charts and whatever, the data, it's literally killing TV. People are cutting cable and satellite because they can't afford it, because they're losing their jobs. <clears throat> and if you have the internet, you can get uh, online video and content that you enjoy, and it's instant and fast, and you can get most of your TV shows online anyway, and you also get Facebook and Twitter and like all your internet stuff and news and you're like wow do I want this amazing thing called the internet or do I want cable where I can just watch a few shows not on demand or sometimes on demand it just depends but that's what shifting is like people don't want that old style of entertainment anymore this is literally a new style of entertainment and the main thing I always hear is like well what are you gonna do three years from now, or like something like that, and it's like, well, <laughs> first of all, I don't really expect YouTube to be like, dying by then, and uh, next off, I have no idea, because three years ago, I didn't even have a YouTube account, so I mean, when you ask someone, what are you going to be doing in three years, it's like, such a long time away, and it's, you, you have no idea, the thing you could be doing three years from now might not even exist yet. So how can you know? You just can't. You can live in the moment. You can live right now and enjoy right now. And don't just... Don't do something because you think it'll do well in the future. Like, do it because you like it and enjoy it. And even if YouTube, for some reason, just, like, died, okay? Uh, there would be so many other online video websites that would be like jumping just like ah pick me now because they would want to take over the online video market but google literally just like controls this online video market because they're the biggest most well known and trust me youtube isn't going anywhere and that's it for this episode of world of crendor so if you have a question you can email that question to world of crendor at gmail.com and it may get answered on the next episode. Okay? Okay. There you go.